this topic. The last time I touched on Cold War and made a negative, or not really negative, but a critique of Cold War, it didn't really go so well. And today is a little bit of that. So uh, bear with me. Bear with me for that. Welcome back to the video, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Zai AZ. Welcome back. Hope you are having a wonderful day, a God-given day, and a God-blessed day. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you for all the love and support you guys have been showing me over the couple weeks. I say this almost every video, but I never want to go ungrateful or seem like I'm taking advantage of what I have and what I've been given. So I appreciate you guys. Appreciate everything you guys have been doing for me and, and helping me with and talking to me and just inspiring me to continue to go on. So again, I appreciate you guys more than you would ever know. So let's get into the video or actually revert, revert a little bit. Let's talk about me not making gaming videos, quote unquote. I, I've been doing more topics and more facial interaction videos, more one-to-one -one videos. I'm just doing that because again, I'm working on a lot of documentary style videos, a lot of patient reviews. I have a patient review coming out for Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, the new Tetris, uh, the, the new Tetris game, I don't really know what it's called other than Tetris Effect. There's like some other name that Xbox threw in it, but again, I'm working on that video. And again, I'm still moving, working, and going to school at the same time. So it's a lot of stuff that I'm doing. Be patient with me. These are kind of the best videos that I can make right now without overbearing myself and killing myself trying to make cut comms and stuff. Those take a lot of effort to do. I'm still going to do them. I'm still going to play them or, or still play games and make videos and stuff. Of course, again, we just did Apex and we're going to see how Cold War of Valhalla and everything pans out over the couple weeks and the days and months leading up to, or not days and months, days and weeks leading up to Cyberpunk. So just bear with me. For now, I'm going to continue to do this. So if you guys aren't familiar with Cold War, which most of you on this channel are, and if you haven't played Cold War, haven't played Call of Duty in a while, which again, most of the people on this channel know me as somebody who's played Call of Duty, or at least uh, used to play Call of Duty a lot. Cold War is something that I was skeptical on. And not saying that I, I hate Call of Duty. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that Call of Duty hasn't been what I fell in love with it, all right? And that's fine that they wanna go ahead and they wanna move in a different direction. Maybe Call of Duty just isn't for me, which is why I haven't been playing it this year as much as I have in past years, really at all, to be honest, especially the last couple months. I've really just been playing COD Mobile and even COD Mobile, I've kinda not played like I've played other games, right? Which is kinda weird, because if you go and you consider Advanced Warfare Ghosts and even Black Ops 3, not, Black Ops 3 wasn't that bad other than the loot boxes and supply drops. I, I haven't really grinded Modern Warfare or Black Ops 4, like I grinded those games, and I would consider those games to be almost worse than Black Ops 4. I don't know about Modern Warfare. I still think Modern Warfare might be the worst multiplayer Call of Duty I've ever played. But again, going up and leading up to Cold War, I've been saying for a while, this will be the first Call of Duty I don't pre-order, and the first Call of Duty I won't play on launch day. And last night, I was I was bending on it. I was thinking about it. I was like, man, I don't have any game that I enjoy playing right now. I need a multiplayer game just to hold me over. Please, something hold me over to Cyberpunk. Something just give me and take away my time. That's not a game that I've already played. And Cold War gives me another reason why I shouldn't get it. Ah, oh, man, it's it sucks. It, it really does suck because I, I want it to be good. I want Cold War to be that classic Black Ops feeling. I want it to be that classic Treyarch knockout punch, right? I want it to be that that FAMAS, you know, them dogs, uh, the VSAT or whatever it was called, the Blackbird back in Black Ops 1. I wanted it to be that classic Call of Duty feel, that classic Black Ops feel. And again... They fucking fold. They fucking throw the bag away. They they lose another consumer. They lose a lot of consumers because they refuse to do what we're saying to do, what the consumer wants. And it's not just me, guys. It's it's so funny when you get these people that come to my channel and they come and they talk to me or they come and they critique me and they think that I'm just some rampant and raging and just upset guy all the time. I'm not doing that. I'm not here trying to do that unless it's valid, unless it's validated, unless it's objective, unless it's, you know... A little bit with my opinion, of course, it's my channel, but it's something that I take into consideration when making these videos. It's not just my opinion, how you guys will receive it. Not that I care overly about it, but that, you know, I'm not just sitting here being somebody who's just upset all the time or somebody who's just using their own subjective reasoning process to make videos. I don't do that. Obviously, I ask for criticism in every video and I do read almost every comment that I can. It's not possible to read every single one on some videos, but I try to do that as much as possible or as much as any YouTuber possibly can. So with that in mind, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War basically came out and there was a whole bunch of leaks. I look at the leaks every year. I don't really care about multiplayer. I just don't get spoiled for campaign and I don't play zombies that much. I do kind of dabble in and out of it. If it's really good zombies, I'm going to have to see some of my friends and uh, some of the people that I trust tell me that it's good zombies for me to go play them because zombies just gets too long and that if zombie sucks or the Easter egg sucks and I spent three hours doing it, I'm a mad guy. I'm a mad guy, which happened a lot in World War II, it happened a little bit in Black Ops 4. I think Black Ops 4 has some pretty decent zombies, but 
nothing, nothing that great. Neither did AW or any of the other ones other than Black Ops 2. Ever since Black Ops 2 have had some good ones. I did like uh, Black Ops 3's Origins. I'm pretty sure Origins was in Black Ops 3. That was decent, but it wasn't nothing that I was blown away by or anything like that. I haven't really played Zombies a lot since Black Ops 2 and Transit. I love Transit. I know a lot of people hated it, but I personally love Transit. And I would love to see it come back. But again, I understand I'm not the biggest zombie guy and i'm not going to sit here and try to give you guys criticism or acknowledgement for it i don't really know it so moving on obviously i haven't touched the campaign yet and i don't think the campaign is worth 60 dollars i like that's just stupid i would never buy a call of duty campaign or call of duty game just for the campaign for 60 dollars something like modern warfare 2 remastered where it was like 20 30 dollars maybe 30 dollars if it's modern warfare 2 you know classic call of duties which i did enjoy modern warfare's campaign last year thoroughly enjoyed it played it a couple times loved it played it on veteran or hardened or realism my bad realism and veteran and hardened and i loved it superb game thought there was a little bit of propaganda but again what call of duty doesn't bend the narrative just a little bit because it's a fucking video game you know i mentioned that much times many times over the course of last year but moving on to the multiplayer we got news that black ops cold war dropped with eight maps eight yes eight maps eight 6v6 maps that is fucking trash uh, let, let me just put this through you guys' heads modern warfare 3 dropped with 16 maps i think modern warfare 2 had four, 15 14 or 15 maps and i think last year modern warfare dropped with six guys i i don't know how else much to say this if you're a guy like me right or a guy like any uh call of duty player to be honest that's not a zombies fan even if you are a zombies fan if you paid 60 dollars for a game 10 years ago. So let's go back 10 years ago. Black Ops 1 came out, right? Black Ops 1 launched with, I'd say around 12 to 14 maps. Just don't, again, don't get too nitpicky with it. I just know it dropped it with around that much. So around 12, 13, 14 maps, a full campaign, and about two to three zombie maps. That was usually what we were getting every year. And then you had to go and pay for the rest of the DLC maps, which is about four maps, four times a year. So you're going to get 12 maps on top of the 12 you already got, so combined 24 maps almost at the end of Black Ops 1's life cycle, correct? Around that much, maybe 21 to 24, I can't remember off the top of my head, I don't have anything pulled up or anything like that. So that was 10 years ago. We are now 10 years later. That should have meant that the games have gotten better, right? That, that should mean Call of Duty should have improved in this asset, or in, in this way, in this shape or form. No, they haven't. Not only did they only drop 8 maps, they didn't even give us any remasters. Now, I know people are always upset about, oh, they do is recycle content. They just recycle content. I heard that all of Black Ops 4. I'm tired of hearing that shit. Because Jungle Summit, uh, Firing Range, and what was it? Any, any other of the classic Treyarch maps are really good maps. I'm not saying that they have to make the whole damn game remastered maps. But eight maps and then two or three or maybe even four remastered maps. Why would we bitch about that? And that's the stuff that kills me, man. Is that after Black Ops 4, after we got Jungle, which is one of my favorite maps, after we got Jungle, Firing Range, and all these other maps, Nuketown, for crying out loud, these people bitch about that stuff, and then they just shortcut the content saying, well, these are eight new maps, you didn't want any remaster maps, this is what we're giving you. And this is so concerning, man. It's not even really concerning, because I knew this was going to happen. I called it all year. I even got killed in one of my videos about Black Ops Cold War, not only talking about the propaganda which is in it, which I'll discuss when I play the campaign at a later date, but... I got killed because I said, guys, don't fall for this multiplayer shit. They're, they're just teasing us. What's going to be in the beta is probably going to be the finished product. They're going to make a few tweaks here and there because it's Treyarch. They actually care about what they're doing. But they're not going to add a lot of maps because Activision is going to tell them, listen, we know you made 16, 18, 19 maps. Hold these back and we'll drop them as free content. I mean, how are you guys still getting bamboozled by this? Shout out to my man Mirage. How are you still getting bamboozled by this? How? How is it possible that I go through YouTube comment sections, Reddit and Twitter? Now, there are some uh, white knights, as I like to call them. <laughs> I need to stop saying that because it's usually a derogatory term when we use it. But there are some white knights out there who are defending uh, this stance and saying, look, we can't be going for this no more. When are we going to save our $60 and pay for a real Call of Duty game? But there are them shills out there. And it kills me every year that I get to watch these people. They get the game early, right? There's always people who get the game early. But then they do these race to prestige. We're racing to prestige. We're going to be the first one to prestige. We're going to be the first one to this level. But not everybody has the game yet. So how are you going to be the first one if it's not access to the full public? It's really, it doesn't matter. And I don't care what you have to tell me. Your shit is vetoed unless you start at the same time as everybody else gets to start. I'm tired of seeing this shit. It's every single year. And thank God... That the Holy Spirit came unto me after last year and told me, look, stop playing this shit. Stop doing this shit. 
It's insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Call of Duty players, Call of Duty people, all you guys who have supported the game, almost like I have to um, to the bare minimum fault, like to, to the to the littlest t, you try to defend this game, it's over. Okay, it's over. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. They don't care about the consumer. This is a fact. If they cared about it, they would have dropped 12 maps, at least 12 maps. They would have dropped a full fleshed out zombies experience. And I'm not talking about one zombies mode or one zombies map, not two zombies maps. I'm talking about three or four zombies modes and maps, different styles, different things. They would have done that. Yeah, maybe they made a few tweaks here and there, but there's nothing that war is that warrants a $60 price tag and $70 on the next gen. How does that happen? Where, who is making these decisions? And again, I know where it's coming from. I know the people who are running behind the scenes. I've talked about it in many, many of videos. It's Activision. They continue to do the same thing over and over again because why would they change a strategy that works? If they're going to continue to buy the game, if these casual fanboys are going to buy the game and pre-order the game, why do you got to go out of your way to work harder when you don't have to? And that's my concern with this game. That's what I seen last night. I'm not saying I'm not going to get the game. Uh, I'm just going to wait for it to fully flesh out. They're saying they're going to update the game on December 10th, a month from now. Give us the first season. Give us the first prestige stuff. And, and give us some new maps and stuff. So I guess I'll just wait till then to play it. And I guess that's when Warzone is updated with the Cold War stuff. Again, I'm not saying that I hate the game or that it's a bad game yet. I haven't played it. Not going to judge a game until I play it or I see enough hours to critique the game. And, and I get enough uh, objective criticism from other people. But again, guys, this is what I've been saying all year. I've said it over and over again. Call of Duty is not going to change until we tell them we want them to change. It's not going to happen. We got that with World War II when we were like, hey, listen, this shit's trash. We're done playing this shit. Then we got Black Ops 4. It was better. Better than World War II. Wasn't great. They got Modern Warfare and then, good Lord, Modern Warfare shit to bed. But you guys continue to support that game. And I said it. Modern Warfare is one of the best selling Call of Duties, right? One of the best ones of all time. Do you think that they're going to change that formula if they know that you're going to play it anyways? I, I don't I don't think so. I, again, man, I'm not trying to trash Treyarch. I'm not trying to trash anybody. I'm not trying to directly go at some people or anything like that or, and trying to knock anybody off their pedestal. I'm just saying that the paradigm that's working over at Activision, Treyarch, and Infinity Ward is the same thing over and over again. I've seen it. I've been through it. I've done it. And I'm in the spot now that I can critique the game fully, confidently, and, uh, you know, just... Where where did it go wrong, bro? Where where did we start thinking this was okay? You know what I mean? What <laughs> I would much rather pay for DLC maps and get, you know, 12 or 24 maps at the end of the launch window than get like 18, 17 maps that should have launched and they just cut the content. It's so stupid. Not to mention the guns. We barely got any guns this year. Probably the least amount of guns we've gotten since, what, Black Ops 4, World War II? It, this shit's atrocious, man. I'm just waiting on supply drops from Treyarch at this point, right? I think we're all just waiting for it. Don't think they'll do it. Hopefully, they don't do it, but I'm just waiting on it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you going to get Cold War? Are you going to play Cold War? Again, I'm still thinking about getting it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it. Uh, I'm just waiting for the new update, waiting for them guys to just roll out the season. We'll see how it goes. I'm really excited for competitive. Competitive is always good with Treyarch. So that's one thing to be optimistic about. The campaign looks very well done. And Zombies looks promising. Still has a lot of work to do. I'll be patient on it. And again, it'll be a very, very patient review with this game. All right, we'll, we'll take our time with this. But man, it's not off to a good start for me. And again, they're dropping that season when Cyberpunk comes out. How they're going to compete with Cyberpunk is beyond me. Anybody who picks Call of Duty over Cyberpunk, ah, somebody needs to knock you upside the head with a sledgehammer, man. Seriously. Good Lord. Anyways, love you guys. Bless up. As always, God bless. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stop buying these fucking trash-ass $60 games. Stop it.